Ladies and gentlemen, as well as zombie slaying buddies, friends, subscribers, how's it going? This is Toontown Like a Master here to hit you up with my first Call of Duty World at War Nazi Zombies. The first map that ever came out for Call of Duty World at War. I love this map, absolutely love it. It is so awesome. We don't make it to the highest round in the world, but is it's really just it's, ah, I'm too excited to even like say the words but I mean it was really awesome playing this and all the gameplay I racked up on here with chicken was insane now just to let you like know give you some information on when this uh, video was recorded this was recorded a night before the PlayStation Network went down yeah and this is also after after we were done doing this, all of us playing World at War. It was also the night we made Call of Duty World at War two man. I mean Call of Duty Black Ops round question mark question mark two man ascension. The video I recorded every single thing, all the footage. If you want to check out that whole entire commentary series, link's gonna be in the description to the first part if you haven't already watched it. And I'll also leave a link in the description to the latest one that's out every day that I actually post a video. As you can see here, I am doing a glitch, and yeah, that was a pretty good one. And I like this too. This is a really funny glitch. I mean, you just get right here, people are like, what the f And yeah, I mean, seriously, it's just like, whoa, how did he do that? Magical. But other than that, um, you're going to be wondering why the heck did I name the title Nazi Zombies Have Bloody Noses? Today, I'm making this video. It is June 20th, 2011, and I had the worst bloody nose today. Okay, so I'm playing Black Ops, getting kind of bored. Uh, I tell my friend, hey, um, you will eat. Oh, wait, no, it's not Black Ops. I was playing Modern Warfare 1, the best Call of Duty ever. I was like, hey, dude, you want to play Andres? He's all like, oh, okay. So I pop in my World at War disc and I, I just pick my nose just a little bit, just, you know, just to, like get a little bit out, you know, everyone does it. Okay. Don't, don't be like ashamed or like, that, that's disgusting, dude. You shouldn't even be talking about it, but still, I mean, I was just, you know, doing a, a daily in inspection, I guess you could say. And then, um, all of a sudden my nose just started bleeding like crazy people. I had to go run over to the tissue box and just like plug it in my nose, into my nose. After a while, I was like, oh, thank goodness, no more blood. And then I looked at the little piece of tissue paper. I noticed that the whole thing was red at the bottom. And by that time, I knew something bad was happening. So I ran over to the sink, pulled it out, and all this blood just started dripping on the freaking oh, sink all over the place i know this sounds kind of gory and imaging into your head um your conscious mind is like getting all the words and putting in all that information you're like whoa oh my god that's terrifying well i made it through and i'm still alive i'm talking to you at the moment i guess i'll stop at that right there because it may be just a little bit too drastic for you I think I'll make something in the beginning saying, warning, in the beginning, there's a lot of blood in this video. This video contains a bunch of blood. A lot of blood. I mean, look at this. I'm like slaying zombies and all their blood's just dripping on the floor. I guess that's another thing to talk about. Okay, so we got Call of Duty. If you never really noticed, all three of the first Call of Duties that pretty much came out were all rated teen. It all started once they made Call of Duty 4, everyone was like, whoa, this is sick, this is really cool. And then, like, I, I don't know how they did this. First off, it came out with Call of Duty 2, the best Call of Duty ever known. Um, I love it, but then again, I hate it. I just suck so badly at it. I guess it's because I play it on the computer version, and I just suck so badly with the weapons on there. Now, if I played it on the Xbox, it would have probably been a different story. But it probably would have been a little bit more enjoyable for me. But everyone says that they all started pretty much with COD 2. And I personally started with COD 4. And that was the best Call of Duty ever. Now I'm not exactly sure how this ended up happening. 
from a game that all all it was about was shooting guns at people and choosing a default class from each side you were on the American or the German and they gave you like the exact guns that the Germans would use on that map or whatever and it was cool I liked that that was really cool and all and then to see them pull off this whole thing with Call of Duty 4 putting in attachments on the gun camos a whole shizzle load of perks there is a lot of perks in that game my goodness gracious that's like the only Call of Duty that has like 10 billion perks. Now if you compare it to Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 is going to have this weird kind of backdrop or whatever the heck. Not not like a backdrop, but I mean, it's like double the perks. Because first you have the normal standard perk, and then you get the pro version, which actually doubles it. Makes it into a different new kind of perk, because you just got a pro version that upgraded that original perk. A lot of stuff to contain into your information and really draw it down into your head but I mean it, if you really think about it it's kind of like having two perks within one perk just by getting a pro version and yeah I, I'm just like wondering how they do that but other than that I, I don't know how an infinity war did all this but they they made a really really good game COD 4 is the best Call of Duty I've ever played in my life every time I get on it I'm not disappointed well except for to this present day I'm kind of disappointed because of the fact that there's so many hackers, too many people are modding it. It's terrible. I mean, I got pe there's like people on the leaderboards that are all the way at the top with a zero score and they're like level one on the PS3. That is sick. That is not even like, I, that's sick in a way that it's sick, not in a sick kind of, oh yeah, that's sick, man. It's so cool. Like, yeah, no, nothing like that at all whatsoever. It's just sick. I can't believe people are hacking that game so badly. Uh, last couple of matches before um, we were playing Call of Duty 4 today with Chicken. I was playing with him. Oh my god. I was shooting out like 10,000 noob tubes at a time after I changed my class. And it was like crazy. I, I was shooting 5 billion. It just lags up the whole entire game. It's terrible. But then again, it's kind of cool at the same time. Then again, terrible. I mean, seriously, it's like so imbalanced. It's terrible. So, like, if you're a hacker out there, just realize that, that you're hacking a game and it's just stupid to play on it. No one's going to play a game where you're running as fast as heck. I mean, it may be cool at times when you're bored as heck, but still, it's just stupid to get into a match where you're running like crazy and you're shooting out 10,000 bullets at a time and not even being able to reload. That's what a Call of Duty is all about, is reloading. I mean, every time, just think about it, you shoot a bullet and you end up reloading it if you don't get that kill. So, I mean, it's weird how we are in Call of Duty. I mean, look look right there, I just reloaded my weapon right there after like four shots. Who knows why? Just to keep more ammo, just in case like five zombies come in, get a multi-kill or something like that, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is also going to be a series as well. I guess I'll just keep naming it Nazi Zombies Have Bloody Noises. Noses Part 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this will only have about 7 parts to it because I think it's only about 30 minutes long. And Call of Duty Black Ops Nazi... Call of Duty Black Ops Russian Zombies Round Question Mark Question Mark series is going to take quite a while to upload because every part's nine minutes and I've got about four hours of footage it's crazy okay so stay tuned for that I will be uploading more videos every day frequently since it's summer break I love having summer break it gives me a lot more time to spend time to be able to produce more videos for you people I love how you guys are supporting me giving me more views liking the videos favoriting them and sharing them with your friends it really helps me out gets noticed on YouTube and um, I just want to say thank you for watching this video at the moment if you are right now because you are awesome so thank you for supporting my channel and the video as well um, all I want to ask is if you could like it comment and favorite on it or favorite it too and that's mostly it we're actually coming to the end right now I guess in the next video I'll just get back into our strategy talk about what the heck's going on right now Right now, we're really just racking up enough points, so it's coming to the end now. See you later, peoples. Have a nice day.